Uh, you know, they're very good defensively. Uh, so you give them credit. But uh, I thought, you know, we started slow. Like once we got some easy buckets, that, that helped us. It opened up the floor. Uh, and I thought we missed some good looks, you know, and we got to make shots right now. We have to make high volume threes. And, we, you know, we didn't do that. But, uh, and we, we were way behind rebounding wise initially, and then we ended up out rebounding them. So the, I thought the rebounding effort was good. I thought for the most part, the turnovers were good. Uh, you know, we, we didn't make shots the way we would have liked, but I, you know, as long as we're taking the shots that we, you know, that are our shots, Right, you can live with that, but uh, you know the, the start of the game was was slow. But after that, you know we fought. Yeah, but you know I mentioned this earlier. He he has, but if you look at his net rating, the the and again tonight, I probably should have played him more minutes tonight. You know because he again he's he's a plus when he's on the floor. Good things are happening. So uh, just keep working. Well, you know, we didn't make shots tonight, so that that that, that was a problem. They they were sagging off them, you know. So, uh, and there's things that we can do, you know, in terms of dribble handoff type stuff. Because if you're sagging, the quick dribble handoff is going to create an open shot in the pocket for you. So that's what we have to lock into more of. I thought the times that we did that when we played out of the pocket, we created good shots for each other, and that's what we have to continue to do. The one, the one advantage that we have is that the rebounding component was, you know, when you're playing big, that's what you get. You have that's where your advantage is the the offensive rebounding, but we have to force the defense to collapse. Let's read and react. It's you know, like so again, if if you're sagging off, you can't both sag and be up on a dribble handoff. So if you're sagging off, if you if you make a quick decision, that the person's going to be way down, and that a shooter is going to get a wide open shot off that. So uh, you know we've gotten Dante a lot of threes that way. You know and we can we can do more because I think our bigs are are very good at playing out of the pocket as well. With Alec, um, you said his net rating has been good since he got here. Yeah, the last three games. Well, I think the the one thing it, it does give you spacing because of, the, of you know, people know that he can shoot, and then he's he's very good in a pick and roll game, and so it gives you a second pick and roll to, uh, player on the floor. Um, you know, so uh, sometimes we, you know we all tend to measure uh, on you know what, what a guy shoots, but there's other things that he's bringing, and just being on the floor to create space. Sometimes that that's what you need is the space and. When you get that, now you know, Jalen can drive to the basket or Deuce can drive to the basket. So, uh, you know, it, that's why we liked him. We, we know he's, you know, he's going to shoot threes at a pretty high clip. And so I think if you – sometimes if you tend to look at it in a, you know, a game or two, it, you know, you're not going to get the true picture. And we just talked about that. Like Curry just went through a stretch where he wasn't making, but, you know, and he's – Arguably the best shooter ever, and it's, it's part of the game. So you, you you deal with missed shots. As long as you're working on your shots, you know you live with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same. Like in, in the thing is, you know that's where you, you know you miss in, you know a second primary score. You know a, a a guy like Julius is going to command two on the ball, so that creates easy opportunities for for others. You know, but. We have to, you know, we're more than capable. Uh, just trust the pass. Like I said, like after the the first quarter, we ended up being down 12, and then after that, it was it was pretty good. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and he's, you know, I'm always talking to him, so, uh, you know, he, he's handled it well. Uh, obviously, you know, we're shorthanded right now, so that's what's required. But he's, you know, 18 rebounds, seven assists, and, you know, he's he's a great defender. So we need him right now. Is that just a case of Josh's own boss? Pardon? Is that just a case of Josh's own boss? 
Well, it, it's an, it's also matchup, so they're downsizing, and then that group actually got into a pretty good rhythm, and Jericho gave us really good minutes as well. And we were real small, you know. Deuce was with that group, uh, but they were rebounding, and, that, and that's what I. You know, the one thing about uh, Josh is that when you downsize, he gives you that rebounding component. And that's that's one of the things it, when you look at Golden State you know, with Draymond at the center, and most most times when you downsize, you you lose your defense and your rebounding, and you know obviously Golden State th that doesn't happen with Draymond. That's what makes him unique. And same thing with Josh, when you put him at the four, every, you know initially everyone was worried about the rebounding. Rebounding has been terrific all season long. What did you say with him, Jalen? You know, good. You know, like just. Uh, he, you know, they're loaded up pretty good on him, you know, so just keep trusting the game and, you know, shoot your shots. That's, you know, that's what I want him to do. He can't shoot enough. Uh, open, let it go. He's going to be open a split second, probably be a little more aggressive in transition because that's when the floor is spaced a little bit more for him. But, you know, I thought he, I thought he was very good.